Kasi some patients, no, di ba, yung bata tayo na lalo nyo, may mga newborn screening. Yes. Because some babies or some individuals are G6PD deficient. My son. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah, My son is G6PD. Deficient. Ah. Pero ano lang siya, very minimal lang po siya. Mm. So parang bawal siya sa mga soy so, products, yeah. oh, even yes. blueberries. Mm. But he can eat now. He can actually eat na, now. No. So oh, I have to good. retest him at seven years old. No, okay, Baka ano po meron sa G6PD? G6PD. Because they just lack that enzyme, no? Okay, to make yung red blood cell na ganun ka stable, no? So if, kasi usual cutoff is around 10, eh. So sa kanya ko niya, pag 9, 8, medyo okay pa naman. Mm -hmm. Pero some patients who are really deficient of ah, yeah. that mm -hmm. enzyme, yung talagang mababang mababa, mm -hmm. you might have to consider to adjust yung dose ng Primaquin kasi one of yeah. the adverse effects is it can cause hemolysis, yung yes. nasisira, yung red blood mm -hmm. cell. Yun yung ayaw natin. Yes. Ang dami nga actually mga bawal na gamot sa kanila pag nasobrahan. Sulfas, bawal din. Yung cotrimoxazole, yes. bawal din siya. Although bata lang naman din siya, so we don't usually prescribe that that often. Ganda niya. So, Next topic madami. natin. Nai-ilista mo na yan. May mga antibiotics. So, talk about antibiotics. Oo. Pero yung question ka lang kanina, kasi di ba yung malaria, umuulit siya kahit mm -hmm. same mm -hmm. na ano. Yes. Pero sabi niyo po kasi kanina, yung gamot, pwedeng maging drug resistant dun yung oh, patient. Yes, you can. Paano po kapag umulit, ano na pong panggagamot uh, sa you kanya? You can still use that drug. Oh. Mm -hmm. Kaya lang meron tayo yung tinatawag na, di ba, resistant na siya. Okay. But you still give that drug kasi yung pa rin yung recommendation that mm -hmm. you give. Pero syempre, you monitor the patient like mm -hmm. what I've just said. You monitor the patient. Bakit parang persistently hindi mo mababa yung parasitic load? Mm -hmm. Bakit andyan pa din yung symptoms mm -hmm. hindi siya nag-improve? So you might have to consider um, resistance. Okay? That's happening. So meron tinatawag na yung mga quinine plus therapy, no? Mm -hmm. So sometimes we give you, oh, mm -hmm. oh, may plus, may plus na, na we give you, mga kunyari, quinine plus your doxycycline, oh. mga quinine plus your clindamycin. So may mga ganong mm. combination. May strategy pa din. Mm -hmm. Kaya kayo naman ka na ganong doktor. <laughs> Sige. 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 Dok, question ko lang po. Kapag nagka-malaria ka po ba, mm -hmm. may long-term effects po ba? May, may, nada may nada-damage mm -hmm. po ba? Organs or may mga bagay ka na maapektuhan sa long term po. May ganun po. Yes, because sometimes it can cause problems dun sa circulation then sa mm -hmm. kidney, sa liver. But for those yung mga nag-recover naman so far, their organs spontaneously recovered din sa mga good. patients ko. Nag-recover naman sila. Mm -hmm. In fact, ha, ako parang wala pa naman akong na, nagkaroon na patient na may malaria na namat. So far, yes. na kung yes. wood. No? Wala <laughs> pa <laughs> naman. Wala pa naman. Oh, naaga pa naman. Uh, whether they have the mild or the severe form because mm -hmm. okay. those medicines are available. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about season? Meron po bang pinipiling season itong mm -hmm. uh, malaria na to, yung carrier na mosquito mm -hmm. na ito? Like sa dengue kasi rainy season. Rainy season. Oh, rainy season oh. Oh. Sa po. But actually, yung dengue, no, sometimes it's not just a rainy season. Sometimes all year round pwede siya, pero mas pronounced lang yes. na na siya, di ba? Yung malaria, you actually can get it any time no, of the year. Wala. If you're talaga exposed, yung mga sa, anti, kunyari, sa Antipolo, Rizal, yung mga near mountainous areas okay. before. Pero ngayon kasi halos puro urbanized na. Mm -hmm. eh, diba? So talagang baka so, sobrang liblib na yung mga places na pinupuntahan nila. No? Mm -hmm. But yung mga Antipolo, Rizal na dating medyo madaming cases. But we have to see, baka dun sila sa urbanized areas, mas lesser na cases. Mm. Will be Pero hindi ibig sabihin, Dok, na sa urban ka naman, hindi ka na magkakaroon itong malaria. Oh, hindi rin. Hindi mm. rin siya totally an exception mm -hmm. na kapag you're living in the city, hindi ka na yeah. magkakamalaria. Still, so still, if you're considering malaria based on the history mo, sa symptoms ng patient, mm -hmm. we can still test. In fact, blood test lang naman yun. Kasi kung una mo yun siya ng yes. blood test, okay. eh, di ba? So it's just a smear. Gagawa lang siya ng malarial smear. Actually, ang test for malaria, we have what we call yung malarial smear. Yun talaga yung tinatawag na gold standard. Mm -hmm. Ano pong ginagawa ano yung doon? Gold so, parang kukunan ka ng blood, mm -hmm. tapos gagawa lang sila ng per peripheral blood smear. Yun yung sa glass light, yes. is smear lang. Mm -hmm. Gold standard na siya for malaria. It's nothing it expensive it. or anything. Mm -hmm. However, uh, may tinatawag na rapid diagnostic kits. Parang yung mga rapid antigen yes, test yes, na yan. Yes. No, oh. Kaya lang yung mga rapid antigen kits, they are not considered gold standard. Bakit? Hindi siya pwedeng yun yung gagamitin mo. Because those kits cannot tell you 
kung gaano kadami yung parasitic load mo sa katawan. Mm -hmm. Unlike with the microscopy, yung sinisilip sa microscope na slide, okay, you can count. Okay? And also with the microscopy, hindi lang you can count, you can also identify kung anong species. Ayun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kasi sometimes, as a kid, it will just tell you, meron kang malaria or wala. Or if may malaria ka, it can just detect yung falsiparum or hindi. It depends. Mm. So, hindi siya talagang recommended. Ang ginagamit lang dyan, the use or the utility is if you are going to do some consensus, epidemiology, mm -hmm. or researches, mm -hmm. then we can do that. No? Mm -hmm. Pero syempre, hindi rin naman lahat ng mga medical technologies are trained talaga. Well, pag med tech, dapat trained. But it still depends no on dun sa skills ng nagbabasa ng slides so if you are in the area na maraming malaria this wala naman marunong gumawa mm -hmm. or magbasa ng slides mm -hmm. so hindi mo hindi mo napipilitin yun oh. yung order mo yes, yes. so you can probably order for the di yung rapid diagnostic na test rapid mm -hmm. test Apo. so it depends case to case but gold standard is still microscopy mm -hmm. kailang masilip mo siya in fact i have picture nga eh na this a patient that talaga ma-appreciate my ring form mm -hmm. of that ano, malaria parasite. Uh, it's nice. Kasi depende sa species kung ano yung treatment na ibibigay nyo. Meron... Actually, it's the same naman. Uh, kaya lang for Vivax, mas longer eh, yung duration. Ayun. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kasi I was gonna ask kung meron na bang nagbigay ng uh, mag, nagkamali dun sa treatment na binigay. What are the effects you can, naman you sa tao yun? You can give the yun. same treatment actually. Okay. The recommendation okay. for any species you can give the co-artem yung Uh, Artemita lumifantrin plus yung Prima Queen, magkakatalo lang dun sa duration of the Prima Queen. Mm -hmm. If Vivax, mas mahaba siya. Falsiparum, one day lang siya. No? Mm -hmm. Dok, malala po ba yung mga adverse effects ng mga gamot na binibigay sa mga tao na malaria? Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, we tell them, they really have to take those medicines. No choice mm -hmm. talaga sila. Adverse effects, uh, they're quite safe naman. Yung quinine lang talaga, yung medyo mas notorious, Because yung quinine for severe malaria, kailangan mo i-check yung ECG or cardiac rhythm because it can lead to irregularity mm. ng tibok ng ah, puso. Okay. It can also cause deafness. Oh. Oh, yes. For the meantime that you're taking yes. it. Yes. Uh, 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 uh. Pero balik na ba ko yun? Bumabalik naman. Bumabalik no? naman. Naman. <laughs> Parang kinabahan ako dun. Nakakatakot. <laughs> <laughs> And they can also cause Uh, tinnitus, yung parang ringing yes, sensation. Yes. Mm, oh. Which is very, very Masaka. bothersome. Alam mo lang ka na rin, no? Yeah. <laughs> Alam mo lang ka na rin. Alam mo lang ka na rin. Tinnitus, <laughs> no? Yes. Tapos, kapag na-push mo siya ng mabilis yung gamot, it can cause fatal hypotension. Ibig sabihin, pag mabilis mo siyang in-IV, kung hindi mo siya pinadrip ng dahan-dahan, na-push na mo siya bigla, ayan, You check the blood pressure because you can have fatal hypertension. Pwede bigla bumagsak yung blood pressure mo na, you know, you know what will happen. Siya namatay sa malaria. No, Doc, namatay na sa malaria. I know, right? Namatay sa hypertension. And isa pa is you have to check for the blood sugar. For malaria, your patients can have a drop in yung blood sugar nila. Kasi sabi natin, if malaria, it will infect the liver. Yes. Your liver is one of the organs, which is a, one of the major organs that na nagproproduce ng asukal sa katawan, nagkakos ng gluconeogenesis. Mm -mm. So, genesis, gumagawa no, ng glucose. So, na-inhibit siya, na-impair. So, pwede mo magsak din yung sugar niya. Mm -mm. But giving itong quinine can also cause a drop in sugar because dumadami yung insulin production naman. Mm -hmm. So, kailangan mo talagang babantayan yung mga patients. Eh.